Hey there, this is Christine. Thanks for tuning into my Mostly Keto Kitchen. What I want to talk about today is the difference between added sugars and naturally occurring sugars. If you're new to watching my videos, uh, you may not know that I used to be a chemistry and a biochemistry professor, and I am making a career change, and I'm becoming a health coach, and I'm doing this through the Human Potential Institute, and so it's a really awesome program. I'm super psyched about the stuff that I'm learning. So as a former professor, I like to give quizzes, and so I do have a quiz for you today. So you can read this for yourself. Which of the following statements is true? We've got one teaspoon equals six grams of sugar, four teaspoons equals one gram of sugar, or one teaspoon equals four grams of sugar. So if you've been watching, you'll know that the answer is C. And why I think this is important is because it's good to be able to read labels and to interpret how much sugar is in the food that we, we are eating. And so for example, let's say it says 24 grams of sugar. You now know that you can divide by four and that will tell you how many uh, teaspoons of sugar that is. So if it's 24 grams of sugar, divide by four, that will get you to six teaspoons. And then you can think, wow, what is it like to eat six teaspoons of sugar? Okay, so teaspoon, eat it. Another one, eat it. I mean, just think about how much sugar you would have in your mouth if you put six teaspoons of sugar in there. And it's amazing, it's a lot. So anyway, so that's why I think it's really important for you to know that uh, four grams of sugar is equal to one teaspoon. Uh, also, and uh, so I talked about this in the fruit chew video that I just put out uh, yesterday, but um, I also wanted to point out that the American Heart Association has put some upper limits on how much sugar we should have. And so I talked about how it was six teaspoons for women and kids and nine for men. But I do want to point out, I didn't say this specifically, and that is that this is about added sugars. And so these are sugars that are added to processed foods. That's what added sugars are about. So those are different than naturally occurring sugars. So I decided I wanted to go through my pantry and look to see what uh, some naturally occurring sugars are. And it's interesting, the main place that you're gonna find naturally occurring sugars are in fruit. So apple, a medium apple, medium banana, those have like 19, 14 grams of sugar. And, uh, and then other things like carrots, we think of them you know, as one of the sweeter vegetables. Not a lot though, you know, so a medium-sized carrot's gonna have about three grams of sugar. And then other things, so I just started going through the pantry, almonds, they do have some sugar, but it's one gram, so that's not so much. Uh, let's see here, pasta. This has two grams of sugar in a serving of pasta. And then of course, pasta sauce, you're gonna find a little bit of sugar in pasta sauce, and that's because Tomatoes do have sugar in them. Uh, peanut butter was one gram, less than one gram. And uh, yeah, so that's, you know, so there's gonna be small amounts of sugars in some of the foods that we eat. And then uh, some other things, and these are things that I don't keep around in my pantry. So I don't keep dried fruit anymore. Dried fruit has a lot of sugar in it. Now you'll say, okay, that's the same amount as that apple up there, but the difference is dried fruit, for some reason, doesn't seem to maintain the amount of fiber in it. That you, would, um, that you would get from the whole fruit. So you're better off having an apple or a banana than you are having some raisins. It's just gonna slow down the insulin spike because the, the fiber, that's what the fiber does. Similarly, any kind of fruit juice, there is no fiber. There's very, very little fiber that's left in the juice. And so these two, dried fruit and juice, those two are kind of like having an added sugar. And so even if a label, and here I'll show you a picture, even if a label for juice says no added sugar, it pretty much is just sugar. I mean, that's what juice is. You squeeze the juice and the sugar and the liquid come out of it and it leaves behind the fiber and there's not much protein or fat, there's almost no fat, um, that's in the fruit to begin with. So these things are pretty much the same thing as added sugar, but they're not gonna be included in what the American Heart Association says. So for me, it's a little bit murky in that I would include these things because sugar, sugar, and I'll talk more in future videos and maybe even just tomorrow, I'll talk about the structure of sugar and how you know the different words or different structures that match up with the different types of sugars that we eat. So. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.